Mr. Curtis, would you please state your full name for the record? My uh, name is Clinton Eugene Curtis. And where do you reside? Tallahassee, Florida. And what is your profession? I'm a computer programmer. Would you please speak into the microphone so the audience can hear your testimony? I'm a computer programmer. Mr. Curtis, are there programs that can be used to secretly fix elections? Yes. How do you know that to be the case? Because in October of 2000, I wrote a prototype for President Congressman Tom Feeney at the company I work for in Oviedo, Florida, that did just that. And when you say just, did just that, it would rig an election? It would flip the vote 51-49 to whoever you wanted it to go to and whichever race you wanted to win. And would that program that you designed be something that elections officials that might be on county boards of elections could detect? They'd never see it. Mr. Would you answer that question once again? They would never see it. So how would such a, such a program, a secret program that uh, fixes the election, how could it be detected? You would have to view it either in the source code or you'd have to have a receipt and then count the hard paper against the actual vote total. Other than that, you won't see it. All right, Mr. Curtis, uh, if you had been asked, you or others with your professional expertise had been asked to design a protective program to, that would protect the Ohio elections from against, against such software to fix the election, could you have done so? If we'd been asked to make a program that could fix the election? Sure, anybody can do it. No, could you have designed a program or a procedure or a protocol that would have protected Ohio against this kind of rigging? No, you have to look at the source code. You have to get probably programmers from both or all parties to look at the source code and determine if there's anything in there that shouldn't be there. I mean, it's a simple program. You're adding one to a person's total. It's a hundred lines of code tops. There's All right. If, so uh, are you aware of whether there was any protective action in Ohio against this kind of vote rigging through software? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. You were, you were not asked to assist in the development of any protective system, is that correct? No, I was not. In Europe, have you uh, reviewed at all the election results in Ohio? No, I haven't. Okay. Given the availability of such uh, vote rigging software, and the testimony that has been given under oath of substantial statistical anomalies and gross dis dis differences between exit polling data and the actual tabulated results, do you have an opinion whether or not Ohio election, the Ohio election, presidential election, was hacked? Yes, I would say it was. I mean, if, you're, if you have exit polling data that is significantly off from the vote, then it's probably hacked. And your testimony is under oath? Yes, sir. And the testimony you've given is true? Yes, sir. Thank you.